Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Techies. I'm Dee Lee Beard. This is the show where we answer your viewer questions on camera with a full video response. Today we got a bunch of questions for you to answer. Let's dive right in. First one we have is asks, when I import my music to the iTunes library, I choose the original CD quality .wav, and that's one of the formats. .aif is another format that also is original CD quality. Is iTunes able to convert my songs by syncing them with my iPod into Apple Lawless automatically? Um, yeah, you can convert them into a format that the iPod does like. Like here's a, a WAV file that I've got. I'll zoom in so you can see that. And so here's a song. You can see the kind is WAV. If you don't see that as one of your choices in this little column of name, kind, time, artist, you can right click and choose what things you actually want to see. And you can select kind so you can see whether it's the WAV file or whether it's uh, the other format. And that's going to be valuable in a minute as we start to uh, change our formats. But basically, uh, the format here is set to WAV. I can change that by going into iTunes Preferences. And if I choose the Advanced tab and choose Importing, the middle one, I can choose here import using what? Right now it's set for the WAVE encoder, but I can change that to MP3 encoder or Apple lossless encoder. And there's AAC, which can do a really great job as well. Let's say I chose AAC. Um, I can adjust the setting for audio. Now you can go to custom and choose exactly what you want. And so you can choose 128, 192. I would recommend 192 for AAC encoding. It's really great. You won't lose uh, much audio quality at all. I have a really sensitive ear to frequencies. Um, I have some music minor in college. And so you may even want to go all the way up to 320 and keep your files pretty small. But uh, click cancel. You can choose the lossless encoding if you want. Your files get larger the less you cut down on the quality. So you may start to run out of space, especially if you've got one of the flash iPods that doesn't have a hard drive. So if it's like, you know, eight gigabytes, that may not be able to fit as many songs on there as you would like. But that's how you would do it. And let's say I chose it to the uh, Apple lossless encoder. And then what I can do, and the settings are automatically done. And I go ahead and click OK. And then, when I right-click on any song that I want to change, I'll zoom in so you can see what, it, what I get, I right-click, and I can choose Convert Selection to, and it now shows Apple Lossless instead of the WAV file. So that's how I can go to it and say Convert. And it's going to create. It's converting right up here, as you can see. And right there it is. There's the Apple Lossless version. Okay. Now, if I could choose the difference here, I'm going to choose try to see size. And there's the size. So the Apple Lossless is a little smaller than the Wave audio file. So you save a little space, but not nearly as much as you would if you went for the AC encoder. But that's how you can convert. Same way works for video. If you can get a video in here, an AVI file, like say off your digital camera, and you put that into iTunes in your movies folder. You know, you could, if you haven't seen that, let me zoom out and show you. There's the movies folder. You can pop in your movies. You can right click on one and say convert selection for iPod, iPhone, or the new Apple TV. So that would be really nice as well. So that way you can, you can change it. Because otherwise you're not going to be able to play it on your iPod. There's a lot of videos you can find on the internet and it can, it can convert them for you. Okay? Now so it can't convert every video format, but what it can't, a program called Visual Hub can. And we've talked about that before on the show. Okay? So hopefully that answers your question. Uh, the next question is, 